Hi all, welcome back to another Cormac on Cars video and today it's all about this, the Morris Minor 1098cc. Before, but before I show you the car, I just want to do today's sponsor. Today's sponsor is brought to you by Prima Pizza. Prima Pizza are a family run pizza business in the heart of Melton Mowbray. They make some of the best homemade pizzas at reasonable prices. Now let's get on with this video, let's turn the camera around. So here it is, it's the Morris Minor 101098. So this car, this actual car is celebrating its 50th birthday today. So I just thought I'd show you around the car. Here's the interior. So by all means, it's you can tell it's an old car. It's not like your normal cars of today. It's completely different, it's completely basic. There you go, you've got your one speedometer and you've got your four speed manual gearbox with the uh, comfy seats. We've got the uh, book on the back as well, the Morris Minor book. Can't have one of them. Very important, you need one of them. Welcome back to another Cormac on Cars video and today it's all about the Morris Minor 1000. So this is a 1098 four cylinder overhead valve with 48 brake horsepower and 60 foot pounds of torque. And this car is a very special car because this one is celebrating its 50th birthday. So it was made on the 1st of August about 1970. Now this is, I've never ever driven a car this old before, I've only been behind the wheel for a couple of moments and I have to say it's already the most memorable motoring experience of my life. I mean it just puts a massive smile on my face. Now bearing in mind this car's only got 48 brake horsepower, it will go on to a top speed of 73 miles an hour but I don't really want to be trying that because it's only drum brakes all the way around. Now the, the drive, drive goes to the rear wheels but it's, it's got a four speed manual gearbox and driving this car, the steering's like when you get up to speed, when you start off it's actually quite heavy but there's, a lot, there's not a lot of play in the steering which is good, it's, it's very good for it's very agile for its age but the clutch I find is actually quite, a, is quite heavy compared to most cars I drive this is quite heavy. I, what I like about these old cars is, is that they're just they're just made better, if you know what I mean. They were built to last. I mean, this is only a. Going. I mean, by all means, this is no mean of. This is not a fast car, but it's not about that. This is a car just to go and enjoy it, have a bit of fun with and have a laugh and I love it, it's brilliant. I mean it's got drum brakes all around so it's it's not the best at stop it's not the best at stopping at high speeds but would you want to drive at high speeds? I don't think so. Quality. I like the build quality of this car, it's a very comfy car to be driving, the seats are like prop properly cushioned and it's just such fun to drive, I love this. There is also a 948cc version of this as well and an 800cc but they're down on power and I think if you want a car that's going to hold its value better I think the 1098cc is better like this one I've got. And I love that, like the sound of this, the 70s. You know that, the smell of the 70s. It just smells much better. My 
driving position on this car, I'm not actually sitting straight. My feet are over near that tree somewhere, which I quite like. I like that. It's just different. It's What also is good about this car is it's quintessentially British. It was made by the Morris, the Morris. Yeah, it's made by the Morris. Uh, so what's this? I want to answer a question. What is it like to drive a classic car through a high uh, through a town like Oakham? So I'll tell you in a minute. Here we go. <laughs> this is what will showers like in Oakham. Just car after car, we'll go after this one. Anyway, driving it through a town like Oakham, it turns a lot of heads. This car does it. That people just turn their heads and smile at it, and that's what makes this fun because most normal cars, people don't even batter an eyelid at them. Whereas in this, they do, and it's fantastic fun. I mean that gentleman there, he's just had a look at me in the car. And what we're going to do in a minute, we're going to go and try and get it up to speed, just to see what it's like. Oh here we go, we've got a 2CV coming up as well. Yeah, it turns a lot of heads and that's what classic cars are meant to be about. They're bringing back, it brings back memories to your childhood and that's what makes it fun. One thing I'm not used to is this clutch. It's completely different to a modern car. But it suits a place like this. You old brick walls, you old brick buildings. A nice vintage town and a classic car on a lovely day. It's perfect. Now on this car, it's not got the biggest fuel tank, it's only five gallons, but this doesn't really get through much fuel. We filled it up this morning and it's still on pretty much full, on a full tank. So it's quite economical for an old car. <laughs> I'm not used to this clutch in this car, that is one thing I've got. mechanical like you like your old thin steering wheels that is that is good fun as well do like that feel like a proper elderly driver coming over the railway line this is going to be a oh, it felt that it's going to be a bit of a bit of a bit of a See how it handles at that kind of speed.
but you can you live everything in this So that's how it was, wasn't it? Oh, of course it was, yeah. Years ago. Yeah, we can get this up to speed now. See, I don't. That's 40. Or about 40, should I say, because it's not the most reliable. 45. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all next time.